welcome to part 2 of the GA16Z tutorial in AB12. Yay. Okay, so I apologise because this video isn't going to be any better than the last one. It comes down to the simple fact that Chelsea were playing Bordeaux today in the Champions League. So I decided to watch that. And that basically took away the time that I had devoted towards editing and making this video better. So, sorry, I've only got one actual physical clip of my girl, and it's probably the most important, so I said I'll go ahead and do that, that's important to do. I know in the last video I did not mention the GA16DE math sensor, I apologise, had it on my list and somehow I just skipped over it. But, when you do the swap you will need a GA16DE math sensor and you will need it for the, once again, the same year as your engine and wiring harness. 95 through 99, I believe, has a different math sensor. Everything's in one plastic, hot plastic device, as opposed to the 91 through 94, where it's a metal device, and then you've got the math sensor that you can unscrew and remove out of it. Um, so yeah, get the one you need. Another thing that I didn't mention that's very important for the swap is the GA16R downflow pipe. You need the exhaust pipe that connects from the exhaust manifold to the catalytic converter. It's got this sort of a bend in it. Um, the 91 plus centres, the catalytic converter is where you know the downflow pipe connects is right in the centre of the firewall. As we're on the B12s, it's on the far side. So, unless you want to get a pipe bent, which I mean you could do if you really wanted to do, I just suggest you use the stock downflow pipe I did. It's the same diameter no matter what engine you have. Now if you're going to use headers, that goes into a whole different problem, so you'll have to sort that one out. I did not use headers, I just used a stock manifold. Eventually I went to a turbo and I had to get a sort down for a pot mic for the turbo, so that's something you personally are gonna have to deal with. Um I've done some research on the forums and Nico Club and and basically looking these right here, which I also suggest you get, you've got the Haynes manual for the Nissan Centra, not 82-94, and I've got a Shilton as well, which is a a2 through 96. Um, I don't have the 200SX one because yeah, this pretty much covers it, but the, if you don't have them, give them the very informative. Um, I have both of them because you know Haynes is good for certain things and Shilton's good for certain things. Like Shilton has all the wiring diagrams, it has all the electrical chassis wiring diagrams in it, which I'll flip through right here. And uh, as soon as I actually find them, I mean, they're all here, all of them. So anytime I make references to Warren diagrams and that sort of thing, that's where I'm getting them from. Haynes doesn't really have those. As much as, as good as Haynes is on actual engine components and all that stuff, the diagrams in the back are just not nearly as detailed. I um, also have the full service manuals for both the B12s and the 95 centres on my laptop so also have that I suggest you get all that you can get all of the SFSM um, online well let's just say digital versions for free go to Nissan forums um, there's a few links to different websites where you can get them from uh, these are like twenty dollars a piece but ultimately it's worth it because if you don't know what you're doing you need one of these, and especially when you do the wiring, especially for a 95 motor, you need to know what you're doing, and that's probably the best way to figure it out. Um, another thing I was mentioning that you will need for the swap is, I don't know if you necessarily need it, but I do suggest that it has the cross member, the B12 cross member that runs, you know, from the core cool support for the radiator to the firewall. I don't have any problems using it. Then again, I use GA16R transmission, where the rear engine, mount, the rear transmission mount, sort of has a spot to go into the cross member. If you can use the GA16DE transmission, you might run into problems. I don't know. Um, 
anyone who's used the GA16D transmission and a B12, tell me. Tell me if you had to do anything different because I. Uh, someone must have done that, so I saw all that, but um. I'm at university in, the, in a downtown city, so someone probably got shot somewhere. But I apologise for that. That shouldn't be in my video, but it will be because I don't really feel like editing this that much. Going back to the point I was making about researching. I've done research, and it looks like the E-series and the GA series pretty much have the same shift linkage. So you shouldn't have to change shift linkage, I wouldn't think, if you're going from an E-series to a GA series. So that's good for you all. You will have to change fuel pumps once again, so you're just going to have to face that and do it. Changing a GA series fuel to a GA series fuel pump is not difficult. You've got the cover, just remove the cover. Um, you will need that new O-ring gasket underneath the fuel cover. So... You can try and reuse it, it stretches the minute you pop the cover though, so you'd have to, an RTV and that sort of instant gasket I make isn't rated for fuel, so just go to the dealership and get a new ring, I know most part warehouses and that sort of thing don't carry it, so go out there and do that. Um, and I'll flash now to the clip of the engine mount I was talking about that you have to modify. So here it is. This is the engine mount I'm talking about. See how it's been trimmed to make fit. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm not going to get into the wiring about how to wire up in the GS16DE because quite honestly, my wiring's a botched job. It's terrible. If I were to show you the kick panel where we put it, you'd be like, how does that car run? And it's a really good question because I don't quite know. <laughs> um, so I ended up actually having to hire a car electrician to sort of come in and finish it up for me because we couldn't get it. We, we got the engine turning over, we got the fire and all this and that, and it, and it turned out to be something as simple as a fuel pump crown that we we lost somewhere in amidst the tangle of wires so maybe if someone else has ever wired a 95 plus GA16 into their car and wants to send me sort of a write up on how to do it I'll post it uh, if you've done the wiring for a 91 plus 91 through 94 GA16 into a B12 and you have a very straightforward wiring diagram and that sort of thing, send it to me and I'll post it up as well and I will give you full credit for it because I didn't do it. <laughs> but uh, thank you for tuning into the Central Channel. Uh, hopefully AKX Nads and Jerry and Steve will be posting here shortly. Um, I thought Steve was going to post on Sunday but apparently he wasn't ready yet. So. Until they post, I'm just going to keep posting videos because I figure somebody will watch them. I mean, I've already got like 50 views. We've got seven, maybe eight subscribers now, so that's good. If you're watching this and you don't have a YouTube account, create one. It's free. It's really easy. And subscribe. Because otherwise you're just going to have to go on YouTube and search for us every single time. And it's a lot of hassle. So just create an account. Push the subscribe button. It's over there. So do it.